Welcome back to another episode of Go Arkansas. From the heartfelt stories of local heroes to the exciting adventures that await us, we hope you will come along with us and experience life in Arkansas. I'm your host, Riley Birdwell. Did someone say Christmas in July? Count us in. The Bonneville House in Fort Smith is partnering with two other area agencies to cool things down. Let's find out why this community event is so hot. Hi, welcome to the historic Bonneville House. Oh, we're so excited. This is our second year for Christmas in July. And the most exciting part about this event is that it's a collaborative effort between the Clayton House, which is another historic house on the register, and the Fort Smith Museum of History. It's just a lot of fun. It's, you know, it's hot and yucky in the end of July. We always try to, last year we planned it about the very same time, so it coincides with six months before Christmas. Uh, we have vendors from all over, from Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas. I mean, they come, they're wonderful. It's unique crafts that they make, some of them. Some of them are uh, commercial, and uh, we have stuff for men, women, and children. It's a three-day event. They're shopping on Friday and Saturday. Uh, there's a VIP dinner on Thursday night, which is the, this year, it's gonna be July 21st, 22nd, 23rd. The VIP party is Thursday night. So we thought, let's just relax it, kind of do a tropical theme. So we have actually coming from Dallas, we have uh, a fire twirler and we have some hula dancers coming in to entertain. We'll have a live auction of fantastic items and the tickets are very reasonable. And you can go on, um, to the Clayton House, or we also have a Facebook page, Christmas in July Facebook page. So if anybody would like to do that, they can get their tickets and we have a QR code that they can just use their phone and buy tickets that way. The Bonneville House was constructed in approximately 1864 by David Allison McGibbons. Mr. McGibbons actually was associated with numerous mining adventures in Missouri. He later worked in planning, promoting an electric trolley line between Kansas City and Leavenworth. He moved to Fort Smith and established a department store and became quite successful. While in Fort Smith, he married Mrs. Miss Mary Frances Lane of Leavenworth. They moved to Leavenworth in 1864, establishing a mining company from the consolidation of other mining companies. In 1901, Mr. McGibbon resigned his position as the company president and busied himself in promoting the Kansas City Leavenworth Trolley and developing his lead and zinc mines in Joplin, Missouri. He died in August of 1911. He was the one primarily who built this house in 1864. Then 10 years later, it was purchased from McGibbons by Sarah Niece Bonneville. She is known as the widow of the famous explorer of the American West, Captain Louis Elou de Bonneville. After General Bonneville's widow, Sarah, passed away, the house became um, an apartment complex, not, or not a boarding house actually, and, uh, and it had just gone downhill after no one was taking care of it or anything. In 1962, the house went under restoration thanks to Mrs. Ralph Spear, Jr. of Fort Smith. In 1971, the Bonneville House was added to the National Register of Historic Places and sits today as one of the crowning jewels of Fort Smith and the Belle Grove Historic District. The architecture style is Baroque Renaissance, which was very popular between 1857 and the end of the 19th century. The Bonneville House has always had a reputation of fine elegance and um, but comfortableness of a home. And I think that's what the stories that I've been told about Mrs. Bonneville is that um, she loved entertaining in this house. And anyone and everyone were welcome into the house. 
Mrs. Spear came in, Melanie Spear, in 1962 with her husband to restore it. She did all the groundwork. She is, she, they put in all the money, completely restored it from the ground up. It went through another restoration in the uh, early 2000s to uh, maybe even 2012 or so around there and went back to the uh, original red brick and the colors in here were more established and more true to the century when it was built.